And then as we go up, the next one's gonna be Rome, which is in Italy. <laughs> so as you go up, it's like different countries, different cities. They're you not gotta, challenging each other very well. well. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> All right, so next level, Istanbul. Say hi, YouTube. Say hello to you. You have to say hello to YouTube. Oh, how are you? Where are you from? back to another video. If you are new to our channel, welcome to our channel. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon to get notified when we come out with new videos. So we are here at Terminal 21, one of the major malls here in Bangkok. And I think a lot of people that watch our videos from North America don't realize how developed Southeast Asia is. And Bangkok is one of those cities in, in this area that's like really well developed <laughs> and a lot of different malls and yeah. stuff like that. It's honestly mind blowing how many people think of all these countries in Asia as third world countries when really it's completely the opposite. There are so many modernized cities. These malls, I would say, would top a lot of the ones in North America oh, sure, and Europe yeah. with what they have to offer. And the unique thing is about a mall like Terminal 21 specifically is that it's just got such a mix of things. And we've been here a couple times yeah. before and we've really enjoyed it, but there's so many floors and so much stuff that this mall has to offer. But you get your typical kind of westernized brick and mortar brand name stores intermixed with a lot of different Asian type stores, lots of little kiosks throughout and every floor kind of has a certain theme depending on what you're looking for. So yeah, we've really enjoyed that. We've been to quite a few of the other malls and we are gonna film some of those for you guys just to show you kind of how they all differ here from luxury malls to uh, malls that just have all used items or uh, vintage type things, right? <laughs> But this one specifically is, uh, is this something it's, special it's about it? It's very unique. So I'm yeah. gonna go kind of run down on what Terminal 21 is all about. So it is an airport themed mall and each floor is a different country. So right now we're in the Caribbean. And then as we go up, the next one's gonna be Rome, which is in Italy. <laughs> so as you go up, it's like different countries, different cities. And uh, yeah, it has a whole uh, airport theme in here. There's one big escalator that goes like quite a few floors up. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so there is uh, down below us, we're on the bottom floor right now. Down below us is just parking. And then two floors up is where you're gonna get into the mall from the BCS, which a lot of you are probably gonna be taking to get to the mall. So yeah, we're just gonna kind of wander through, show you a few things in the mall, show you each level. We don't wanna go too deep because it is quite a big mall. And uh, I, just I don't, give you I don't think we can do like. that much walking yeah. today. We're gonna do a lot of walking for you guys to show you some of the main things on each floor, but we're not gonna walk through the entire mall and we don't wanna bore you. We want you to come and see for yourself how awesome this mall is. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, we're just gonna walk around on the Caribbean part here and uh, show you a couple things. There's a market down here, a couple uh, restaurants, Dairy Queen, stuff like that. So yeah, let's go for a little wander through the mall here at Terminal 21. All right, so yeah, here's the escalators. We're gonna come back to these again to get up to the other levels, but there's a couple of pharmacies down on this level and a couple banks as well. And so, a good old Dairy Queen. Yeah. <laughs> Those of you that need your, your North American ice cream fix, you can go to Dairy Queen right over here. Yeah, it's Get funny. A blizzard. It's funny because Dairy Queens here don't have food, it's just ice cream. So yeah, as you see, there's a gourmet market right up here. So you can go there and get groceries if you're staying in the area at they a hotel. They have lots of different food vendors in this gourmet market too. Like yeah. little snack type things that they do. I've seen like little little uh, waffles and smoothies and all sorts of just unique little food items that you can just grab and go as a snack. Yeah, it's the nice thing is if no matter what floor you're on, there's always, there's typically somewhere to get a snack at least. So yeah, you get a subway down here, another pharmacy. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you, if you uh, places to eat, a couple pharmacies, a couple banks. <laughs> and then you'll find too, a lot of times like, like this here in the middle of the malls, you'll have uh, just random sellers set up to sell like discount clothing and stuff like that. So many, and, and usually local brands it seems like, like it's a lot of like local sellers in different parts of Asia or Bangkok specifically that are selling their own clothing lines. Yeah. So it's nice because you're in a big mall but you can support local at the same time. 
But yeah, so we're gonna head up to the next level. We're gonna go to Rome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, here we go to Rome. Oh, what are we gonna see in Rome? <laughs> but you can see up at the top here, it says arrival, level G, Rome. So you'll see that airport theme throughout the entire mall. We got a lighthouse right there, which continues up from the Caribbean. So this is floor you're gonna to start to see a lot of um, brands you're gonna recognize, stores you're gonna recognize. And again, we're not gonna walk through the entire mall. It is a large mall. But yeah, as you see, uh, yes. Bath and Body Works. One of my favorite stores. I can get my three wick candles and my nice lotions. Hello, <laughs> Saudi <Saudika>. Ka. <laughs> You are good. good, how are you? Good. <laughs> All right, so yeah, Lacoste. You want to say interview? <laughs> say hi, YouTube. Say hello to YouTube. You have to say hello to YouTube. Oh, how are you? Where are you from? I'm from Morocco. Morocco, Morocco. Oh, nice. We, we want to go wait. there, yeah. We, we can't wait to visit your beautiful country. We've seen videos, it looks yeah, amazing. Yeah, welcome to visit. We're yes. going to come and we'll, we'll show YouTube how awesome they Morocco have the is. Oh, yeah. good. Good to know. Awesome. Well, enjoy yeah, your time. Nice yeah, enjoy your time. You. Meet friendly people all over. So yeah, Birkenstock store. Shane is probably gonna hit that up here oh, in a couple I will. months. <laughs> I definitely will. I need to stock up on some Birkenstocks. So again, yeah, more sellers in the middle just selling random uh, brand stuff. Pretty cheap too, 300 bots. So uh, just uh, just around $10. We got a guest store. And I just walked past the Pandora and I had to hold myself back. <laughs> <laughs> That's why she's lagging behind, like, she's staring at stuff. <laughs> But yeah, it's uh, it's cool. Like it, it's very modern and very clean. That's one thing we found about the malls here is they're oh, always so super clean. clean. Yeah. So you got a billabong here too. So if you're planning on heading to the beaches before or after you're in Bangkok, then get that up. I didn't even know they had one of these here. They have an RVCA, so yeah. might be uh, hitting that up one day too. <laughs> Stock up on some beachwear. But yeah, you can see in the middle here, it's all sorts of like the shoes, so many shoes, handbags. This floor is not quite as big. As you go up, it seems like they get to be bigger and bigger. And it gets really cool because they ha there's little stores tucked away in, like in the little, back. Little local boutique shops and yeah. stuff too. So we're gonna head up head up to Paris, France now. Find the Eiffel Tower up here. Yeah. I don't know if they have one here. I haven't noticed. <laughs> so uh, that level we were just on is actually the street level. You can see over in the distance. So if you're coming in a taxi, you, you're gonna come in on that level. And then this is the, the Paris level, which is the BTS level. So when you take the BTS, this is the level you're gonna start on. It's crazy how convenient it is too, right? When you get off the BTS, you just walk a few feet and you're right in the middle. Yeah, it's su super right close the to the BTS. So you can go from being in a nice cool BTS sky train right into the AC of the mall on a hot day. Yeah, it's really close. And then um, this one's covered, but some of the malls that are further from the BTS, they'll actually, when it's raining, they'll put out covers so you don't have to walk in the rain or bring an umbrella even. So yeah, we're here on a Saturday and it's uh, definitely busier on the weekends, but it's always busy in Bangkok. So even if you come here in the week, you're gonna, there's gonna be a lot of people. So it's gonna have a good, good energy to it. So yeah, again, um, you got some, got a Starbucks here. It's really cool looking. <laughs> More people that want to say hi to you. Such friendly people in yeah. Thailand. Yeah, we so love, we love the Thai people. Yeah, we love Bangkok. Just in everybody in Thailand or in Bangkok yeah, even in general. The foreigners that are here yeah. and the tourists and stuff. Everyone's so happy and just enjoying life. This is a very, uh, very good overall vibe. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, I got an H and M up here. Um, I don't think it goes too far either. This is uh, one of the smaller floors as well. Super dry, but yeah, just some clothing shops and your Starbucks. Lots and lots of little kiosks with jewelry. Yeah, there's really a ton. Really nice jewelry too. All throughout this whole mall, every floor I've noticed, there's a lot of jewelry shops and kiosks and little um, random brands of different type of makeup, Asian brands, I'm assuming. So that's kind of cool, something different. Yeah, exactly. You're pretty much gonna find everything you could possibly want here, almost. <laughs> <laughs> And if you don't find something in this mall, there's thousands of other malls throughout the city yeah. where you're gonna find exactly what you need. Even just on Sukhumvit, there's a bunch. Like if you go one stop 
east, you're going to get to Prom Pong, which is where uh, Amosphere and uh, M Quartier and stuff is. So that's another, there's three malls there. And if you go the other way, you're going to get the Central World, Siam, and MBK. So there's a lot of malls in this area. And we are going to cover probably most of them. But yeah, here's, uh, here's where you come in from the BTS right here. It's cool how they got all the clocks up here, the different time zones. Yeah. They really uh, took the theme and went with it. Even the board has like airplanes and stuff on it. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna head up another floor here. We're gonna go to Japan, head to Tokyo. Oh, yes. Look at that. Can't wait to go to Japan for real. Oh, I cannot wait. <laughs> Just eat all the ramen and sushi in yeah, the world. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, was... And see all the beautiful scenery yeah. in the country in general, we but won't... it's really about the ramen and the sushi <laughs> and the sake. Yeah, we wanna go in the winter, so we have Christmas there. I'm gonna show you the big escalator here that goes all the way up. So that goes from the uh, M floor up to floor three. So yeah, it's quite large. So if you're looking to go like straight up to the food court, take that one and then you only got to go a couple more up. So but yeah, we're, we're slowly making our way up so we can show you everything. So yeah, this is uh, this is where it kind of gets, oh, not kind of gets, it actually really gets really cool because more they have- unique here, yeah. They have all these side streets, it looks like. And so this is uh, Japanese inspired. Like little, uh, alleyways and stuff. It's yeah. so cool. And the decor, I just love the feel. Yeah, and this is where we're going to- Look at all the unique clothing. Yeah, so as I was say, you find all the unique clothing, unique stores down here. But yeah, it's really, really cool. I'm going to have a, a B-roll of all this stuff at the end of the video if you want to stay to the end and, and see everything to some music. But uh, yeah, it's uh, really cool. Also at the end of the video, you guys are going to see the awesome food court yeah. that they have here. Yeah. So definitely keep watching yeah. because the food court here is amazing and very special and unique in its own way as well. Yeah, so yeah, we're not gonna go through all of these, but just to give you an idea what it's, it's like. Clothing, yeah. yeah, it's all like- More women's, women's and girls clothing. It yeah, like. and I think when we were here last time, it's, it seemed like one floor was like women's stuff or two of them. And then there was one floor that was more of the men's stuff. But we'll see, you guys will see as we go through this video all that, the changes in what each floor is like. So yeah, they just tuck into there and then you're back out to the main main area here. There's a, uh, we've got some sumo wrestlers over here. Oh yeah, let's go check those out. <laughs> I don't know, they're not they're not really wrestling though. <laughs> they're wrestling the pole. <laughs> That's about it. They're, the pole's in the way. That's yeah. cool though, they got like that theme going on. Oh, there's a samurai guy over here. <laughs> they're not, they're gotta, not challenging each other very well. Hey, 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 tap. inappropriate. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky Buddha bum. <laughs> but yeah, they got a samurai here. But yeah, it's cool how they got all the paintings on the poles like that. Oh, they actually have, um, I'm just gonna stop here quickly. So here they have, uh, if you are coming in between your travels and you have your luggage with you, you can actually have it here and, and pick it up later. They'll, they'll hold on to it for you. That's a nice convenience. Yeah, it is because uh, if you have to check out and you have time to kill, at least you can come to the mall. Um, let's go to the main escalators. Oh, that was all like neon style here. Look, I don't know if it is all the way down. Let's check. But yeah, this is uh, all like neon and stuff down like that. It's all underwear and stuff, so I don't really want to go film that. <laughs> you don't need any bras, Chris. No, I'm, I'm good. I'm working on the moves. <laughs> so it looks like the Japanese or Japan floor is lingerie, which is kind of funny considering it's more of a conservative country. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to head to the escalators again, go up another floor and see where we're going now. Past a really big cat. Oh yeah. They always have so many little statues of characters and stuff all <laughs> over Bangkok. You'll just be walking down a random street and there'll be like this big display of I don't know what they're made out of. Transformer. There's transformers. Yeah, but yeah. like the like things like what that cat's made yeah. or whatever it is. Yeah. Some sort of a concrete statue concrete of some sort. Shiny statue of some sort of a character. <laughs> just on the corner of a road somewhere. Yeah. But it makes it fun. I'm yeah sure. it is. I'm sure kids love it too. Exactly. It's like a theme park. So yeah here you got a foot locker. You're gonna find there's a lot of shoe stores here and if you're looking for like the actual 
real brand of the shoes and you're going to want to come to a mall to get it, not in the market. So now we're uh, in London, <laughs> we're in England. <laughs> Never so, gone, gone around the world so quickly in my life. I know. We can just say we, we can, can we put stamps in our passport and just say <laughs> we've been there? <laughs> but yeah, yeah, all these little uh, boutique shops. Oh, this is more, yeah, like... We got a okay. video game store here. Little toys and stuff and men's yeah, there's very a bit... patterned shirts. <laughs> yeah. The Things the for kids. Tacky tourist shirts. As you can see, look, ready for the beach. Oh. They got a little uh, coffee kiosk here. We actually went through this this part of the mall. Yeah, this was more of the the men's section, from what I remember. Yeah, it was, I think it was a bit. Yeah, Red it was and actually. Boys, yeah. Whereas the other floor had the the women's That's and right. young girls section. Yeah. I think the next floor up is more women's stuff too. There's like jewelry and stuff, which you guys will see. But yeah, it's uh, very organized. It is, yeah. Depending on what you're looking for. You can easily spend a whole day here, though. Oh yeah, because sure. it's so big. But yeah, basically all the same stuff. There's a Croc store over there, oh. so that we should... Uh, illegal. Yeah, illegal. Do not yeah, those, go in that store. Those can stay in London. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's basically it. There's like different sports stores and stuff like that. Again, we're not gonna go through everything in the mall, so we'll head back to the escalators. I wanna show you the uh, the red bus here too, the double-decker. So yeah, it's a bit of a different video than our normal videos. It's usually just me doing a walk through video and Shana's not, but or else we're vlogging where this is more like we're just doing a walk through the mall for you guys. Not really vlogging, but kind of <laughs> a little yeah. different. But yeah, you can see there's a bus here. It's a little toy store. This is cool level. I like this one with all the all the lanterns. You'll see when we get to the top. Yeah, it's really pretty. So this is the floor. If you took the long escalator. The UBI at Istanbul. All right, so here we are at the top. As you can see, like Shana was saying, all the different lights. And more jewelry. More jewelry. There's so much jewelry in this area here. I remember when we were here last time and walked through. Yeah. Really nice stuff. From real to fake or costume jewelry, there's a variety. Yeah, exactly. And yeah. good prices. And that's what you're going to find in like Istanbul and places like that is a lot of people sell jewelry. Very on theme, but yeah, again, this little area is all jewelry. Quite a bit to choose from. Shane is stopping. Good thing we have wireless <laughs> you need to mics. Get me out of this section right now. <laughs> that's why. That's why I didn't go. I didn't go too deep into it. <laughs> we got Bath and Body, we got Pandora, we got Birkenstocks, and we have jewelry. Yeah. Sounds like a smoking credit card. All right, so yeah, again, same as the other floors. All these little side pathways side streets if you want to call them that with different boutique shops again all jewelry down this part <clears throat> if i remember correctly it was like jewelry and handbags and stuff on this floor yeah the next section oh yeah is lots of different purses and stuff yeah and like travel type bags yeah exactly leather like really nice leather goods too like real leather Oh yeah, and then the, so the like spa area. Our, oh yeah, that's right, we'll, with we'll all quickly the nails, show that. Nail salons. So if you happen to be at the mall and you want to get your nails done or something, there's this whole section here where you can get your nails done and Really good prices, massages. I can vouch for that. Yeah. <laughs> Very good prices. And they do a good job. More uh, expensive than at a local market, of course. Yeah. You're going to pay about double, but compared to anywhere in North America or Europe, as far as getting a new set on, of nails, very reasonable. Yeah. Here. Yeah, exactly. It's. Uh, you don't feel so guilty if you go and pamper yourself a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, that's uh, basically it. Um, you know, like makeup stores as well. There's this uh, Even Boy, which is a uh, makeup. Yeah, place. it's kind of like a Sephora. Oh, okay. It's yeah. not like Sephora. It's like Sephora with some of the things, but they have all sorts of different brands and more of like the Asian and like Korean brands for makeup and products. So it's a little bit more unique than a Sephora. Yeah. So. Again, yeah, this is jewelry, makeup, uh, like skincare, incense. Care, incense. Yeah, it's, it's a ladies' floor. <laughs> but yeah, a lot of handbags, like we we're saying. And again, keeping on theme too, you can see like all of this here. Looks like the streets. So all right, we're gonna go up to San Francisco City Street. 
heading to the USA. All right, so we're on the, the San Francisco streets. You got food starting here. It smells here. amazing. I know, I'm getting hungry. <laughs> it smells so good. So they got, yeah, all sorts of different restaurants on this floor. Again, we haven't really gone around on this floor because the food court's on the next floor up, which you guys are gonna see, of course. Um, they got a trolley over here. They got a classic San Fran sign. We'll have a look at the trolley quickly just so you guys can see it. Pretty cool. But yeah, as you see, it's all restaurants. And little dessert shops. Yeah, look at this uh, cheese tarts. These look, look good. <laughs> But yeah, it's, uh, that's basically it on this floor. It looks like it's all just different restaurants. And you got the uh, Golden Gate Bridge here. And behind this place, we'll go around just to show you. There's a Sunrise Tacos in here. If you're looking for really good Mexican food, they have good, uh, good tacos. But yeah, here's the uh, the Golden Gate Bridge, and then up above, this is where the food court is that we're gonna go to. It's called Pier 21, and uh, we'll talk more about that once we're up there. But we'll go back over to the escalators and head up to the next floor. So I think there's uh, all sorts of different types of food on this floor. Anything from like, uh, there's boat noodles, which is uh, Thai food. You've got Swenson's, which is like a, looks like a diner. It's like a dessert restaurant. A dessert I restaurant. Believe. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, it looks Mostly like it's all. Mostly cakes and ice creams and stuff. All desserts. They got a Boost, which is like a smoothie place, which is healthy, healthy smoothies. Yeah, everything, basically, if you have a craving for something, you can come here and get it, that's for sure. Between all these restaurants and the food court, we obviously highly recommend the street food in Bangkok, yeah. but if you want to eat in AC where you're not sweating, especially depending on what time of day, it's nice to come here and have some different stuff. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, the next floor is still San Francisco, but it's Pier 21, they call it. And again, there is more restaurants around the outside, not just the food court. So yeah, um, we'll come back to this level. We're gonna go up to the top level, show you that, and we'll come back to this level because we're gonna end at the food court. <laughs> we need some lunch. Yeah. But yeah, so we're getting into the level of the movie theater, so that's why there's this character right here. I forget what those are called. Uh, Grammys? No, Grammys is music. Oscars. Oscars. Yeah. Statue of the Oscars. Yeah, we don't watch that stuff, so <laughs> we don't know it. But this is, uh, yeah, the movie theater's here. If you're looking to watch a movie, this is up here. And then they've got all the, there's a bunch of different like cell phone places. There's an electronic store called Banana AIS. That's who we have our long-term SIM card through while we're living here. And it's true mobile and stuff like that. But yeah, you can see right here is the movie theaters and then you just buy everything here. So you can actually uh, get your tickets online. You don't actually have to get it here, but they got like this, uh, this here with the Hollywood sign in behind. So yeah, really cool. Okay, let's head down to the Pier 21 food court. Oh, there's a barber up here as well, it looks like, or a salon. And then at the very top here, there's a fitness first, so you wanna get a workout in while you're at the mall. <laughs> <laughs> it's a workout in itself, just walking through this mall. <laughs> yeah. Maybe you eat too much of the food court, you wanna go burn some calories. <laughs> yeah. At least you have that option. So again, uh, different restaurants on the outside that have different types of food. There's a Korean place here. And surprisingly, they actually uh, they ha have quite a few people eating in them considering the food court's up here because the food court does get quite busy. Don't be surprised when you come to the food court that it's completely packed. We're gonna tell you why once we get there. Yeah.
Let us know in the comments below if you've been to Terminal 21, this Terminal 21. There is another Terminal 21. We're gonna do a video there for an upcoming video, another upcoming week where you guys can see what the other Terminal 21 is like that's in Bangkok. Also, let us know if this is what you would expect from a mall anywhere in Asia yeah, exactly. or Bangkok specifically. Like, do you guys expect that they're like this or have you always thought, if you've never been here before, have you always thought that they would be smaller and not have this many options? I'm just curious to know. Yeah, I'd yeah, be interested to see what your thoughts are. So, yeah, so here's the... It's packed as always. Yeah, it's just, it's packed. And you want to tell them why it's yeah, always so packed? Yeah, I guys why. So, as you know, there's tons of amazing street food all over Thailand. Bangkok in general, but this food court specifically has street food vendors that are making just as good of street food as they would out on the street, but it's here in the mall, in the AC, and they keep their prices low, very low actually, like they would if you were just wandering around the streets and having it at their carts uh, outside, but they're able to because they're actually not charged any sort of lease or rent for their space here. Yeah, exactly. So that's pretty cool. So yeah. you can come and it's it's always packed for that reason. There's people that are shopping but they want street food and it's hot out and they're like, hey, we can just go get all that awesome food for such a good price while we're at the mall getting some other necessities. Yeah, it's pretty smart because people come here, get an inexpensive meal and then, hey, you know what? We didn't spend much on food. Let's go shopping in the mall and go buy some shoes or something like that. More money for all the other stuff. Yeah. But it is awesome food. We've eaten here a couple times already. The food is amazing. It's what you would expect from a typical street cart downtown Bangkok, somewhere or on a back alley yeah, in a hidden a little, little spot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so really good. the way it works right here, there's uh, these cashier people here. And you, what you do is you give them money and they give you a card and you use that card at all the different places. So we're, Yeah, we're, they want to do like uh, no cash and just keep everything clean. Right? Yeah, exactly. Nobody's handling money. There's no passing of germs on money. But uh, show you quickly here what it looks like. But yeah, you can see it's super packed. We got a big crab here. But you can get pretty much anything from desserts to smoothies to soups. Uh, you can get like roast duck, kakra pao. <laughs> oh, it smells so I good. Know. Like, I already know what I'm getting. <laughs> you got mango sticky rice. Yeah, more soups. They have lots of duck, chicken, yeah. different, um, like even Vietnamese soups and, and, um, Chicken and biryani. Yeah, chicken biryani. Uh, they good. They got boat noodles here, so if you haven't had boat noodles before and you can't find a place to get it, they can get it here. But um, it's very organized as well, just like the rest of the mall. Yeah, Where exactly. you have categories. You've got, you, if you want duck, you go to <laughs> yeah. one area. If you want chicken, you go somewhere. If you want soup, you go to a different area. Yeah, so I'm going to show area you. area has all the smoothies. Show you here. This is uh, the duck and pork section. So if you want to have the crispy pork or a roasted duck, you get it here. And then, oh yeah, all along the side, there's like stir fried noodles and stuff like that. So yeah, we're gonna- We have to hope that we can get a table. Yeah, exactly. We're gonna find a table and then we're gonna go around and get something to eat. We'll show you quickly what we got, but we're not gonna go into too depth of what we're eating. So we'll see you uh, once we find a table and something to eat. All right, so I stopped on my way back from getting the cards that you have to use to be able to get the food here and got a crispy pork and rice from that one spot you guys saw, so. Yeah, it looks really good. Got a sauce on it as well. That's one thing we found. There's a food here, smaller portions. It was 32 baht for this plate, so you guys can see. Not a lot of food, but you get this, you get one more thing. You're still like just over 60 baht, which is a good value. And uh, for being in an air conditioned area, it's, that's pretty good. We're actually sitting over here and there's actually a view um, outside, which is nice, nice and bright. Um, Shana's off now. She's getting uh, a couple smoothies. They have really good smoothies here for a good price. And then she's also getting a bowl of soup that she really likes here. That's like, I think it's like 30 baht or something like that. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat this. Um, when Shana gets here, I'll show you the soup that she got. I'll show you the smoothies that we get as well. All right, so Shana just came by and dropped up a couple smoothies. She got a guava. Yeah, it tastes like a, kind of like pear a little bit. Like a pear with grass. <laughs> It's really good, refreshing. And then I got a mixed berry with a banana. So that's the thing is they use real fresh fruit here. You can see when you go up, they have it in the, in the containers already. And then you can see they're blending it right there. So it's like all fresh stuff. that's not uh, pre-made like syrup and stuff like that. And those two smoothies was 65 baht. So again, very good value for a fresh fruit smoothie. 
Um, she's off getting her soup now. And then when she's back, I'm gonna go get another dish because again, they are smaller. Uh, there's one that I really like here. I'm gonna show you guys that. All right, so this is the soup that Shayna gets all the time, her favorite. It's a Vietnamese pork noodle soup. And how much is this one? 29 baht. 29 baht, it's That's a big $1. bowl of soup. Yeah, it's uh, good value here. So I'm gonna head now and get my second meal, which is one of my favorites here. All right, so I've got my second dish. This is one of my favorite here, which is a fried chicken with biryani rice. And yeah, it just has such a good smell and good taste to it. They do have hot sauces you can have with it as well. I like to just have it on its own. But yeah, if you are in Terminal 21, coming to Pier 21, definitely try this fried chicken with biryani. It's really good. All right, so while we finish eating here at the food court, we'll cut to some B-roll for you guys.
right, so we're all done here at Terminal 21. Yeah, it was fun just wandering around a bit more in the mall. We haven't really done that yet. We went to a few floors before, but it's fun to show you guys what to expect here as far as the mall goes. Yeah, we hope you guys enjoyed this video and you got to get a real true idea of what a mall is like here in Thailand. There are so many more that we want to show you as well because they're just all so, so different and really amazing and they stand out in their own ways. So there will be more of those coming on our channel for you for sure. Yeah, exactly. And the next mall video, we're going to do the other Terminal 21. We've never been there. We no, haven't we really just, seen we any We just videos learned that there's a second yeah. Terminal 21 here in Bangkok. So we thought, hey, let's go see if it's the exact same or if it compares in any sort of way or maybe it's totally different. We don't know. So. It looks like they have a food court there. So we'll definitely be checking that out. Yeah. All right. So yeah, that's going to be it for this video. If you guys did like the video, please leave a thumbs up, share it with somebody. Also, if you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell icon to get notified when we come with new videos and we'll see you in the next one. Sawadee. Sawadee.